into night five we go. Feeling, feeling okay. I don't think this has come together fully, but... We should be pretty okay. Start with gonna start with this. Hope that we get both of the the shooty McGee's taken care of, and then I am going to actually I can't really do that, can I? I guess we just I guess we just get rid of that, and then if I move to here to here, there we go. All right, very nice. Uh, I don't want to lock myself in there. Okay. Feeling feeling good, feeling strong. Good, good crits coming in over there. Now you, I think we just hope that these six take a bit of a beating. And I'm just, to get rid of these guys, I'm willing to spend a bit extra. And then that's, that's not a bad hit. I need to get some work done on power staffs just because I shouldn't, I shouldn't be wasting my time, just because we haven't used them much, and we have unlocks that are gated behind them. Okay, I'll move over like that, and then I think that's turn one done. Okay, the guardians are here. Wow, that's not a kill in one. I'm kind of surprised by that. Okay, good enough. Let's soften this guy up. Oh, I hate that that didn't get a kill. Okay, we've fallen off a little bit here. Holy smokes, have we fallen off a little bit. End of that turn went better, but that was not great. This is an interesting combination. I've never paired up a Druid Staff with... Actually, I'll move to here so that I'm supporting. With a, uh, with a Power Staff. It might, it might not be trash. Let's see, can I, if I move to here, can I just get you? That's better. It would be so terrible if you could propagate poison onto yourself. I can't, I can't even express how truly awful that would be. And then I'm focusing on one of the ones that doesn't have poison, just because there's... I mean, I generally don't use the power staff full stop, so I'm with you, uh, third. <laughs> but I'll never, I'll never unlock its improved versions if I, uh, if I don't. So maybe I need to, uh, maybe I need to start thinking about it as an option. I do suspect that. Our friend Kiron here is about to go off something fierce. Uh, good old, good old blood magic. What can I say? See, if I just move to here, I can toss some stuns in. All right, and then tuck myself in the corner. Yeah, blood magic and uh, 
Blood Magic and Hammers do insane work. But I gotta say, like, I, I also don't sleep on the value of Scorching Wave. It, it does do insane damage. And it gives you it gives you an opportunity to spend a little bit of mana, which isn't all bad either. You're not coming far enough in for me to be too worried, but I am gonna scooch over to here. You're gonna get killed no matter what. Let's see. Epidemic is is really the the break point for for poison builds like this. I'll just put that back there and see if I can just have it sweep through some of the back lines. Ordering was bad there. Should have taken this guy out first and then gone for the isolated. But nobody's coming in and we still have all of you to deal with. Start out with one of those. One of those. This should be a kill. All right. Nice. I'll short bow this guy just because he's a dodgy sucker. I like I like the crits that we're getting. Oh, free action still or still one more action? There we go. All right. Everybody's si safe except for our very durable friend. Start over here. A little bit of wham, bam, destroy everybody. Kind of want to stand here and just... This guy has been stunned for I don't even know how long. Wait, if I move to here, can I just... Now, if I move to here, I can put in some stuff in the back there. See, that's where I get disappointed, though. But I like that I can I can proc that. I like that I can proc opportunism. I don't like that I can't get this guy. Move back over here. The poison is doing doing what it does best. 12, 42? I, I think I'm gonna start slowing my roll here with uh with Jared. He's keeping things looking pretty good, so. If we can if we can build up all mana, it saves us having to buy a mana well. So I think that's probably good for business. That was supposed to be a short bow shot. I uh, I goofed that one up. Okay, moving over here just to support this corner because it seems like it's going poorly. I'm always surprised. 48 enemies does looks like it's way more than 48 enemies. Yeah, you're not gonna get to shoot your shot, my friend. Oh, ground smash. I can't stay mad at you. Fine. I, I genuinely feel like I can just, well, maybe one more bee sting. I'm addicted to the bees, and this propagation line just looked too good to not. Uh, if I get rid of you, are you dead in three? You're not. 
but everybody else is dead in two. So I'm just going to soften this guy up. Now he's definitely dead, which means we can shift over this way. Wait, I had one more action. Really don't need it. Uh, so let's just come over here and just blow this guy up, maybe? Or not. I did not build a temple for my bodybuilder. That's something we could do this next turn. Uh, I, I consistently forget about that. Let's see, I think. Do you think it's worth it? I, I feel like I never have enough, uh, enough workers to, to make it worth going for. Yeah, I mean, that's been my, my thinking, but... Okay. Okay, middle's gonna need a little bit of support back this way. Yeah, you do you do oatmeal. You gain a small amount of max HP. Uh, honestly, I would rather have max mana at the moment if I if I had my druthers, I think. Let's see. I think. I think you just kill everything you can see. This guy's dead in two. We already checked that. I kind of feel like you need to... I think you need to get some more kills. So we'll do that. And we got five, four of them are poisoned, and one of them is dead in two. So I'm just going to let this guy hang out in the mist until, uh, until he is doomed. Okay, so he left that corpse that looked like the elite corpse. Alright, we did... Wow, Elisa Marie, you did not get a lot of kills. You got a, a shockingly small number of kills. How did that happen? Hmm. Well, something happened in the in the light side of the oraculum. Did I get it right that time? I feel like I did. I have come with gifts in hand. The other one gave me her name. Woe to thee, my ears burn at the evocation of this incarnation of sin. If thou swearest that thou shalt not force me into remembering her wicked existence any more, I shall give thee my name. Agreed. Good. Thou shalt address thy prayers to Freud, then. That is the name which appeared to me when I looked into the depths of thy soul, so it will be the name I shall take. Cool, cool. Oh, sledgehammer variants. Nice. Love me some adamantium sledge. Very nice. Swords need work. Axes need work. Daggers need work. One-handed hammers need work. Spears need work. I'm making decent progress in all of them. I really don't like tomes, apparently. And I don't think there's anything mid-run that will benefit us there, so... Let's see, what's what's my play? Are we going... I could see going Spear with you. Spear Dagger Blood Magic. You, you literally read my mind, uh, third. I feel like we said it at the exact same moment. Uh, which means you said it way before because of delay, but... Nonetheless, yeah, we could we could pivot into that. I could get down with that, which means I could use some multi-hit if it appeared to me. Crit power is good, too, though. Look at that accuracy. I tell you what. <laughs> kind of absurd. I love me some human ballista, though, I gotta say. 
P -p -p poison <laughs> Multi hits right where I don't need it. I mean, I'll take it over the alternative. We could potentially pivot into some wand shenanigans, but we're super low on crit over here. Volatile versus Epidemic is a tough choice. I'll go Volatile first. Okay. Now, I think... Are our corpse piles as bad as I think they are? Yeah, they're pretty awful. Okay, so... That means we have a night where we actually get to do... The normal things we usually do. So let's see, we have these two upgraded to the 40, so I so adding making it one worker is like extremely beneficial. So we'll spend two there. Given given that we're going this path, I think having more workers is actually very beneficial. So I'm gonna start doing some of the 70 gold up gold upgrades. So we can get this house out of the way. But we got we got mountains of money at the moment. Uh, I like me a silver dagger at the legendary tier, sure. Kiron is going to replace that, which means that now I feel like more action points are a bit wasted on Jared. More action points on Kiron are not wasted that can go away i'm hanging on to this in case we get a momentum person it is my intention to get a momentum person what are we sitting at for ballistas at the moment we have 23 i think we uh i think we start doing some mounted upgrades no let's do seasoned operators first There we go. Cheaper than adding more ballistas. Now, if we are not... If we're not going into production buildings at all, which is my intention with this run, may we do get mana wells and a temple? Just because they're kind of like passive income? Sure, we'll get them rolling. I don't think there's any harm. It, it does alleviate some problems that we had over here. And then I want to get my third gold mine upgraded. This is a little expensive, but... I think it's it's pretty pretty valuable, and I wasn't planning on spending too much money this turn. Ah, oh, there's a big old hand crossbow though, isn't there? This potion of energy is quite interesting looking too. The sword blast is also really good. We haven't really gotten anyone that can go bananas with multi hit. See, so you and you, I think, are a decent pairing. And then you and you are a decent pairing. Okay, let's let's go over all these. The Mithril Shortbow is a pretty nice pickup, but 174, it's a little expensive. I'm nervous about leaving the Mithril Hand Crossbow behind. Leo, you picked up Propagation Bounces, but you don't have Volatile. You do have Initiator. We haven't picked up any multi-hits. We haven't found any multi-hit gear, though. I think I buy this just on the prospect of picking up a new character in the future, as potentially crazy as that seems. The Cursed Armor, I like, but I'm sure I have some just trinkets that are absolute garbage to 
to sell. I don't care too much for this one, but I think like this helmet, eh, it's doing a little bit of work. It is interesting because we're not going to get any passive increases. Like, like normally I build some armors just to get like higher level armor. We're not going to be getting that this game. Hey Yoba! Oh, somehow your message got blocked. I I only see it in the uh, in the other space, but yes, <laughs> Kiron is looking a little a little funky to to say the least. So yeah, so we're gonna have to buy pants if we want them. What are the remaining upgrades on this? Uses per production phase two. That is a lot of gold. Actually, I'm going to put you over here and put you over here because you're better at one-shotting those. And then I'll put you on the outside edge here. So I'm trying to decide. The Mithril Shortbow is 95, so we need 9 gold. What do we get for selling our current crummy shortbow? 8 gold. Oh, irony of ironies. Potion of Cleansing, I think, can be sold. Yeah, because getting getting a better short bow, where'd it go? Getting a better short bow, a level four short bow, nonetheless, is a pretty nice upgrade. Okay. All right, feeling feeling decent. Going into night number six.